After deadly tornadoes hit Tennessee, today is the second full day of cleanup. Yeah, the storm left at least 24 people dead and many more missing or injured. Uh, Fox's Alina Shirazi joins us now live from the scene with more on what's happening. We understand that the, uh, those who were missing have now all been accounted for. Is that right? Hi guys, yeah, we're now on day three since this tornado touched down in Nashville and we're still in a state of emergency as 19,000 people remain without power. That's down from about 35,000 people yesterday, but the roads remain blocked still in every which way and they're cluttered with debris. Some new numbers this morning, almost 80 roads are blocked and almost 400 residential structures have been badly damaged or completely destroyed. About 200 commercial buildings are also in very bad shape. The mayor says they're offering safe shelters for people who have been displaced. He also says cleaning up the roads is one of their biggest priorities. Public Works continues their work in repair and cleanup. Public Works has a total of 20 right-of-way crews that have been working 12-hour shifts. They have cleared and reopened 33 streets. Meanwhile, Nashville is using its star power from musicians like John Rich to help bring the community together. I've seen neighbors walking around handing out bottles of water to the police. Uh, there's firefighters out here. There's electricity workers, construction guys. You know, the, the town wants to see it get better and get better fast. And the governor asked the president today to expedite federal assistance. He'll be here tomorrow surveying the damage. In Nashville, Alina Shirazi, Fox 5 News.